This is the Clawbot Update 2, the actual third video in the series. And this one, I'm going to just show the functionality to control the Clawbot with an Arduino Explora controller board. Uh, this is a pretty neat little board from Arduino. It's got a lot of functionality. The um, joystick buttons, slider, there's all kinds of sensors. We've got a little speaker, RGB LED, light sensor, temperature sensor all kinds of good stuff in it. Um, picked one of these up basically for free a while ago. Um, had some coupons and gift certificates. So I got this one working with a Wi-Fi robot, Arduino robot, a while ago. There's a video on the channel with um, that series. And now it's basically the same setup connected with Python, except it's talking to a Raspberry Pi powered um, claw robot. So the, the real basics of this is the socket functionality through Python to provide TCP IP and then the Arduino Explorer is just talking off serial over USB which Python reads that data in passes it to the Raspberry Pi Python server script uh, the way it works is the slider controls the wrist functionality so if you go all the way to the left the claw will turn to the left if you go to the center it will go back if you go all the way to the right it will turn this claw to the right go back to the center the down button is to stop, and um, you'll get a you'll get a blink. What what really that's for is the wrist and the claw. The servos will keep sending that signal until you stop it. So the next demonstration is left button. Uh, well, it's open, so it's already opened. But uh, you hear a tone. There's another tone. Close. But the servo is still applying. It's still sending the signal. I don't know if you can hear the buzzing or not. So when you want that to stop, you hit the down button and you get your LED to let you know that the servo is not being powered anymore, just to get some power management and not burn out this little uh, little servo. Same thing with the wrist. You know, this is actually sending that PWM signal. See how it's kind of jittery there? So you want to like stop that when you don't need it. I usually could build in time delay if I wanted, but um, if you're carrying an object, I didn't want to have an automatic time delay for it to stop. So now over here, the joystick is basic robot uh, commands. I did add a delay and a stop with this, so you don't just you know press forward and he'll go forward until you hit stop. That's the way it works with the keyboard, but um, with the joystick, I, I changed that a little bit. So there's delay, and one reason for that is the fine adjustments for when you're trying to pick up an object. I mean, see, you can you can make them go what seems like non-stop just by holding the joystick but if you want to actually get fine adjustments when you're trying to pick up something it provides that also set this back up real quick so I'll go ahead and try to um, pick up I don't know if I can get both in the view here heavy you see it's, it's starting to lift off the rear caster the joystick's a little touchy um, sometimes it'll bounce back and do the opposite direction which is a little little rough. I'm sure there's software in there I can use to s prevent that from happening. I just haven't really sat down and added all the hacks because I'd like to have little tones and RGB LEDs for each little motion and movement. I don't know if that would be too annoying or not when you're actually um, using it. But the little bit that's used with the Explorer is alright for right now. Oh, 
So that's basically all you need. Python, sockets, a nice little controller like the Esplora, and just a little bit of Python code. It's it's pretty basic setup, really, in, in my opinion, to uh, get everything working over TCP IP and with a nice little controller. Joysticks are also uh, extremely doable USB joysticks. I will, I'll usually use the Pygame module in Python. Um, if you're interested in that, you know, let me know. Also check out the Wi-Fi robot on the channel because that robot uses Pygame with a USB joystick, Explorer over serial USB, keyboard, all through TCP IP on Python. Pretty much the same exact framework as this robot, just no claw. And it's not a Raspberry Pi, it's an Arduino on the robot side. So thanks for watching. Uh, like the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, share it with your friends.